Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel, and um, this is the market share of the different Windows 10 versions according to Add Duplex. So we, of course, I always get these, um, you know, the comments of, "Well, I don't have this version of Windows," or "Why don't I have this yet?" or you know, "I'm, I'm am I alone not having this version of Windows?" So here's how things are shaping up at the end of May 2019. So today we are May 29th, 2019. Of course, the rollout of the May 2019 update has slowly started um, now. And so what are the most popular versions? What versions of Windows most of you are on right now? Well, the April 2018 update, the version a year ago, is dominant right now at 61.1% of all of you out there. So if you're wondering why you're still at the April 2018 update, is it normal? Well, the majority of you guys are still there, 61%. So uh, not to worry, there's no problem there. As for the Windows 10 October 2018 update, 31.3%, that's the chunk on the upper right, 31.3%, so almost a third, uh, but not quite a third. And so you could see here that that rollout has not been that very that good. So um, basically, they've not really been pushing it much. The um, May 2019 update right now is showing at 1.4 percent, and you know it's just been rolling out, and it's there's still a majority a majority of you out there that don't actually don't have uh, that yet. So not to worry about this at all. Uh, one thing to note is that the uh, interesting aspect of this, uh, and I posted a video about it, is that, you know, if you're on the April 2018 update, that version is expiring in November of this year because it has an 18-month cycle. And that also means that the May 2019 update will kind of be forced on you because of this fact starting apparently sometime in June. So some of you will start seeing the May 2019 update appear as a download. Now, I don't know exactly how it's going to be pushed. Probably at first it's just going to show up and say, hey, there's this May 2019 update to download and install. But we know that when you get close to the expiry date of a version of Windows 10, you're actually going to have that version forced on you. So all of you, here, 61% of you out there on 1803 right now, well, by the end of the year, you'll probably be at least on um, 1903, today's version. So um, this is going to be interesting starting next month and, and a few months ahead to see how the penetration of 1903, the May 2019 update, will actually uh, get because it's kind of interesting to see this. The 31.3% of you out there on the October 2018 update, well, you guys are going to stay there because your 18-month cycle ends early uh, 2020. So you'll be uh, ready for maybe 20H1, basically. Um, now, I get that question again a lot. A lot of people saying, well, I'm still on the April 2018 update. Um, do I have to go through the you know October and then the May? No. I'll just jump over and you'll be on the May 2019 update. There's no previous Windows 10 specific version you need to get here. It's automatic. You just get there. So don't worry about it. You'll be pushed to that new version of Windows, um, even though you're back uh, in time. Finally, uh, version 1709 and 1703, 2.9 um, and 3.2%. Uh, those are... If you're a, a, a home user and still are using the Creators Update, Fall Creators Update, you should be moving on because there's no more updates for you guys. Uh, the only updates now, and there was a cumulative update yesterday, by the way, is for the enterprise users that are on the long-term support, uh, which is typically, I believe, 30 months. So if you are there, you are getting updates, but uh, the security updates have stopped for any version older than the uh, April 2018 update. So hope that you move on to stay safe. So this is what it looks like. Don't worry if you're still on the April 2018 update. Well, you're with a majority of people here, 61.1%, still there. And uh, 
well, it's going to be interesting to see when in June or when exactly 1903 might be pushed on you for uh, for uh, that uh, you know new version because they're going to expire in November. So these are the numbers. Hope it's interesting for you. If you're in uh, enjoying our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.